Hey YouTube, Wheelie Man here, doing a quick update. We've got the latest Tesla software version, and we're gonna be running 2020.36.11. We're cruising on the I-5 in full self-driving, navigate on autopilot mode. And with the new update, we have enabled exit passing lane as a new option. So if you go into the menu and hit autopilot, and customize navigate on autopilot. There's now an option to uh, exit passing lane, yes or no, right there. So, before this update, if you were in the passing lane, it would pretty much stay in the passing lane, and cars coming up faster behind you would have to pass around you to get, anyway, to move around you. It kind of hogged the lane, if you will, of once you set the speed limit. So, with this new, update, we'll see if it will now exit the passing lane. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit cruise control. Let's increase the speed to 85. Now I have enabled HOV access. So we will see if it will get over once we get a little crowded up here. I'm just gonna scale back. The autopilot follow mode. So I've got the currently speed limit set to 85 max. And hopefully we'll get some action to get over shortly. Turn off the air so it can a little better, there we go. There we go, automatic lane change enabled. So will this exit the passing lane? Let's see. Car to our left, so it's not making the change yet. Got a car behind us coming up. It's not yet initiating the change. I think our exit's coming. No, we've still got time. I'm not sure why it is not getting over. Looks like it says it's got an upcoming lane change, so perhaps that's why it's not initiating. Let's just double check the settings here, make sure. Yeah, that's why. It's telling us to get over. All right. Well, it's so much for going and reviewing the exit passing lane feature. Looks like I need to take a longer trip next time. It's coming up in one and a quarter miles. So far flawless. We've got some road construction up ahead. No issue. Visualization screen picks up the cones. Exit half a mile. Change. 
we've got some construction up here, so let's see how it'll handle it. Finally slowing down, changing the speed limit to 70, 65, taking it, we hit, hit a couple of the un reflectors, but still making this change. Still navigating this curve with the construction. Got some barrels up ahead. Slowing down, navigating the curve up to the red light and stopping for us precisely where we need to stop. You guys, uh, Tesla Autopilot, full self-driving. This is the future. Green light. I'm going to go ahead and step on the accelerator to confirm. Now, typically it's, it struggles making these turns, so let's just see how it works. And it still struggles a little bit. I'll give it a little throttle. Uh, let's take, take over the wheel. So <clears throat> that's one area where it still does struggle, is exiting from the off-ramp back onto the main street. But once you're on the main street, it's pretty good. So we've got about four and a half miles left to go on our trip. And I'll touch the accelerator to initiate the green light. Going through the green light. Coming up to another red light. Cars braking, slowing down, and stopping. And I will tap the accelerator to confirm it's safe to go through the green light. So navigate on autopilot city streets. Full self-driving upgrade. Autopilot Hardware Suite 3.0. We're just cruising along. Our next turn is coming up 2.8 miles. It's gonna be a right. I doubt we'll be able to make that because again, full city driving is not, full city street driving is still not enabled through the full self-driving software suite, but it's coming. End of year, according to the Tesla website, I believe. So here we are, braking, braking, slowing down, red light. So it's about as close as you can get to having a chauffeur. I don't know any other software suite company any other auto manufacturer who has this level of autonomy in their vehicle. Again, I haven't driven other vehicles, so I can't validate that claim, but I doubt they're as technologically advanced as this. So speed limit of 50 miles an hour, I'm going to up it to 50. I'll hit 55 just to keep up with traffic. And our turn's coming up in 2.2 miles. There's a new uh, Model Y, dual motor performance. Just cruising right along. Turns coming up in 1.4 miles to the right. I don't think there's any question if Tesla is going to be able to solve the autonomous driving. problem equation looks like we've got another model y up there ahead a white one
overheads. And that's a dual motor performance as well. Seems to be the popular model in this area. Half a mile to go. Let's see, we'll, so we're not on navigate on autopilot anymore. So I'm gonna turn the turn signal on so we can get over and have the vehicle make the change for us. Should be slowing down. And initiating the turn, chain, lane change, there we go. It still has the turn signal on, so I'm gonna turn it off. So looks like our turn is coming up here at the stoplight. Get over in this lane? No, I'm gonna go ahead and have to do that. We do have a green light. We have a green arrow turn signal. Oh, it looks like it was just gonna blow right through. Okay. Back to autopilot resume. And one mile to our destination. Stopping for traffic light. I just tap the accelerator to confirm it's safe to proceed. Safe to proceed. Tap the accelerator again. Ooh, hard on the brakes. That was Tesla, not me. Little bit of phantom braking there, but better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Good thing there were no cars behind me. That one was tailgating. So, so far handling these uphill street climbs, no problem, no issue. quarter mile from our next turn. We've got a stop sign come up here. Will Tesla see and read the stop sign? Yes, stopping for traffic control in 100 feet. Yes, it did. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and tap the accelerator to say it's okay to proceed. Tesla saw that there was two lanes, one turning, one straight, and it merged over to the left to make sure it got in the appropriate lane to continue straight. So we've got 35 on the speed limit going on the 30. It's a little quick. I'm going to knock it back down to 30. We've got cars parked on the sign. Steering clear of those. And I missed my turn. So I'm going to turn back around. Speed limit 10 miles an hour. Will the camera read the 10? No, it does not. Okay. And here we are. I'm gonna run my errand real quick and we'll be right back. 